Hey everyone, welcome to Trail Sage, and today we're talking about the Magic Shine MJ902S. This powerhouse of a battery uses two LEDs to produce 3,000 lumens of brightness, and man, is it intense. I've been testing it over the last couple months on my mountain bike, e scooter, and road bike, and the build quality and effectiveness has been impressive. I've been a longtime customer of Magic Shine going back many years to the MJ808 when I used to ride my mountain bike at night all the time, and more recently to the MJ900 which I currently use on my e-scooter. So when Magic Shine reached out to me to test out the 902S, it was a no-brainer and I gladly accepted. But even though Magic Shine did send me this light, please know I'm under no obligation to say anything and all thoughts and views expressed in this video are my own. As you'll see in the rest of this video, I put this light through my usual battery of tests and I'll give you my opinion like I do in all my videos. Having said that, let's start with the specs. The Magic Shine 902S with mount weighed in at 95 grams and if you add the battery and straps, the total comes to 398 grams. Because the battery is separate from the light, the design remains relatively compact. The hood and lens are constructed of a heavy duty plastic and the heatsink fins in the back are made of aluminum to dissipate heat efficiently and the button at the top is mostly rubber. Unlike my current MJ900, the 902S uses two high efficiency LEDs that produce a whopping 3000 lumens of brightness for one and a half hours. But if you don't need the max output, there are four other modes to choose from. Each zone reduces the amount of intensity and increases your max runtime. There's also a bar that lights up on the side which will let others see you better at night. And if you don't need both LEDs, you can cycle through the different options by double clicking the button at the top which will toggle between the top, left and right light. There's even a flashing mode if you prefer. Moving on to the battery, it's also constructed of a plastic and it's about the size of a laptop battery. The cord is detachable and held in place with two clips. On the underside, there's a rubber-like material to hold the battery snug to your frame without scratching it. At the back, there's a rubber cap that covers the charge port and the secondary USB-A port. Pressing the button will also show you the amount of runtime left on the battery, which is also visible with the rubber cap in place, which I thought was a nice touch. Another benefit is, the secondary USB-A port can be used as a power bank to charge up things like your phone. Magic Shine claims that this light can withstand a drop of up to 3 feet and the whole system is water resistant with an IPX6 rating. I also want to note that this light can work seamlessly with an e-bike switching from day to night mode based on level of ambient light, but since I don't have an e-bike I have no way of confirming that. Finally, in addition to the light and battery, the box included two battery straps, four silicone strap options, a Garmin and GoPro handlebar mount, a micro USB cable, and a 3mm hex wrench. Ok, so now that you know the specs, let's go over my likes. This thing is bright. Most of the night riding I do these days are on my scooter and the two LEDs pack a punch. My scooter visor has a slight tint to it but the 902s were so strong that it made it a non-factor. The beam of light reaches far and has a pretty good spread. I was so impressed that I decided to take this out on my mountain bike to see how they would fare on the trails and they handled amazingly. Typically in the woods I would wear two lights, one on the bars and one on the helmet to help me look around corners but as you can see this light had no problem illuminating the trails. But I didn't want you to just take my word for it, so I set up a test in my driveway using lawn chairs at 10 foot intervals. The chairs alternate from white to green for 80 feet and at the end I placed a white trash can at 90 feet. And because GoPros are notoriously bad at night and hard to control, I grabbed my Sony and manually set the ISO, shutter and aperture, effectively locking down the camera. Then I placed both my lights on a tripod and waited for nightfall. The MJ900 I was using previously has 1200 lumens of power and does a decent job of lighting up the driveway. But as expected, it pales in comparison to the sheer power of the 902S. The dual LEDs push farther and have a much better coverage, easily reaching all the way back to the trash can. But if you don't need all that power, it's nice to know the 902S has four brightness modes to choose from. The bigger battery also meant I didn't feel any range anxiety while I was out on a ride. In fact, I love that you can see the amount of power left without having to remove the rubber cap. And if that wasn't enough, the button at the top of the light will glow red when you reach 30% battery life and will flash when you get to 10% which is really convenient. I also like that this battery can double as a power bank for things like your phone or bike computer. All you need is a USB-A charge cable and you're all set. You simply plug it in, press this button and it starts to charge. All in all, I've enjoyed using this light not just at night but even on those overcast days when lighting conditions weren't optimal. And speaking of which, the fact that this light is water resistant gave me confidence in wet weather, making this light effective in a variety of situations. 
By the way, if you're interested in this light, I'll be raffling it off on Friday, December the 8th to a lucky Patreon member. To be entered to win, all you have to do is support me on Patreon. Membership is $5 a month and you'll get access to exclusive content, ad-free videos, and some other perks, not to mention an entry to any other giveaways I may have in the future. But before you decide if this MJ902S is right for you, let's go over my dislikes. This thing gets really hot. It might not be an issue on those colder evenings, but if you're running this light for an extended period of time, please know it gets hot to the touch, especially running it in max power mode. Also, the larger battery is great for range anxiety, but that also means it's bigger and heavier. The good news is you get 28 inches of cord to help you place it in an optimal location, but it does take up quite a bit of space. And speaking of the battery, I do want to note that this rubber cap at the bottom is extremely hard to open. This is good for waterproofing, but it's annoying when you want to just charge up your battery. I found myself having to use tweezers to pry it open, which is frustrating. A bigger tab here would have been an easy fix. Side note, this isn't really a negative, but rather more of a PSA, but if you're planning on riding on the trails, I would still consider getting a secondary light for the top of your helmet. Even though this light is bright, having a secondary light to look around your environment is still important. And if you're wondering if this could work as a helmet light, yeah, it can, but I'm not a fan of wires running down the back of my head, not to mention the heat issues that I just mentioned. Finally, I have heard some folks complain about there being too many modes, but I haven't found this to be an issue. I just leave it in dual light mode and toggle between the four brightness levels. Regardless, it was a complaint that I heard a lot from folks, so I just wanted you to be aware of it. But that's it for my dislike, so let's go over pricing. This light normally retails for $140, which is great, but recently I've seen it available for under $100, which is a steal. I'll leave a link to it down below in case you're interested. It won't cost you anything extra to use that link, but it helps me to continue to make these reviews. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a powerful light for either your mountain bike or road rides, I would have no problem recommending this light. It's been great in a variety of conditions and the versatility of the battery doubling as a power bank has been really handy since I travel with a lot of gear. I also love the different brightness levels giving me the option to choose how much light I want to devote to a particular situation. Living in the suburbs means most of my streets have street lights so I don't need the full 3000 lumens all the time. So why am I giving away this light? Well. As I said earlier, I primarily use this light on my scooter, and for me, having the extra weight of the bigger light and battery make this scooter that much more top heavy, and I would prefer to keep that as light as possible to minimize speed wobble. The MJ900 is much more compact, and I find that the 1200 lumens is enough for the type of riding that I do on the road. Well, that's it for this video. Remember, if you want a chance at winning this light, all you have to do is support me on Patreon and you'll be automatically entered to win. The raffle will be on Friday, December the 8th, so good luck. Well, if you have any feedback or questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe or join me on Patreon for some extra perks. Thanks for watching. Testing, testing, testing. Okay, mic levels look a little bit low. Welcome to Chelsea. Hey, hey, everyone. There's the mic right there. Is it too high? What's going on here? Hey everyone, welcome to Trail Sage, and today we're talking about the Magic Shine going back many years to the 808. I've been a long time customer. I've been a long. Ay, ay, ay. MJ2. Two LEDs to. So when Magic Shine. So when Magic Shine. And I. This is a recording with the background with the coffee mug out of the way. The 902S has a giant bus that rides behind it need both LEDs you can toggle th you can cycle through at the back at the back there's also with an IPX6 water rate why what IP6 IP IP IPX IPX6 rating <sighs> I mean you heard that right but I didn't want you to just take my word for it so I tell take my word for it so I tell I also like the fact that this <laughs> it's a white that the lumens all the time. I don't through food I loot all the time. It's just like mm, to get here. Oh I, I automatically entered to win. And now we have a dog. He's entered to he's entered the raffle. The dog is apparently not happy with the decision I've made. <laughs>